Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at OpenSUSE 12.3 uh, So let's get stuck into the video I am currently at the login screen and at the top here it says welcome to computer name I just have the default computer name here, I haven't changed it On the left hand side we have a list of available users I only have the run user account um, configured and on the right hand side you can log in by just entering the username and password and you also have to log in here if you want to access the root account uh, we basically have a few different session options down here we have a few um, other options such as shutting down the computer and switching users we have the time and the date now let's log into the machine so I am just running this inside of a virtual machine Okay, so we have a tip from KTorrent. I'm just going to close that. So anyhow, let's get stuck into it. First, I'm going to take a look at the taskbar at the bottom here. In the bottom left-hand corner, we have the open SUSE menu. Uh, I will take another look at that in a second. We have the activity manager, which they have given a bit of a new icon. So we are currently on the default desktop activity, which is basically just a desktop and a widget which um, contains the desktop folder. And we have a desktop icons activity, which is just the different icons. Um, and we obviously have um, the ability to add additional activities. So the whole point of activities is you might um, have an activity for a different purpose. You might have a personal activity for when you are at home and a work activity for when you are at work. And in within each activity, you can have different desktop icons, different widgets, etc. So on this um, on this activity, I might choose to add some sort of widget. What's a good widget? Let's just add the eyes here. So I might choose to add the eyes on this particular activity and now when I change over to a different activity you can see that the eyes are no longer there and when I change back the eyes are there. Uh, we basically have the desktop switcher here, desktop 1, 2, 3, 4. There's only two there by default, I added an additional two. So yeah, that's just what it looks like by default. We have the Dolphin File Manager. Let's just take a quick look at that. And you will notice that when you open windows and drag them around, um, they become a bit transparent. I quite like um, Dolphin. It's a pretty functional file manager. Um, it's pretty neat. I quite like the look of it. So let's go to Help About Dolphin. So this is version 2.2. And we have a bit of a quick link to Mozilla Firefox. Um, I personally haven't used this since um, version 2 to be honest. I've mainly been using Google Chrome and Chromium. Let's go to about Firefox. This is version 20. Uh, so let's just close that for now. And in the bottom right hand corner we have a few different icons. We have um, Amarok um, which is currently here. We have our Clipper, Clipper with a K, which is the clipboard tool. We basically have the volume controls with a link to the mixer. We have notifications, we have KTorrent running, file indexing, device notifier, network management. We have the time, um, you know, basically the time and the date and a bit of a calendar. And it displays all of the events on the right hand side here. And it seems to be preloaded with a few American events such as Loyalty Day, etc. It doesn't disappear when you click away. I'm not sure whether or not I like that. You know, it's not a big deal really. I would just prefer if it went away when you clicked away. Um, we have a bit of an edit menu here, and we have um, a desktop icon up here which you can click to add panels and widgets, etc. Most of those options are available when you right click on the desktop as well. Now let's take a look at the menu. So we basically um, are on the favorites tab now, where you, you know you can pin all of your different favorites. And there it says my name, username, on computer name, and we have the open SUSE logo there. Uh, and the search function is pretty good. So if I search for an app, it finds it pretty quickly, which is good. Now we have the Applications tab. I'm just going to take a look at um, a few of the different applications. So we have Education. 
Um, I quite like this menu, though I am pretty sure that in older releases of OpenSUSE or KDE in general, there used to be an option above the first entry, which was a bit of a back arrow. Um, I don't understand why they got rid of this. Now you have to click on the um, category above to go back. It's not a big deal, though, still. So under Education, we have a Desktop Globe. Um, you know, which is all right. Um, I would personally just use Google Earth if I'm honest. And yeah, you can basically zoom in, and the further you zoom in, the more you see. That's where I am, Brisbane, Australia. Uh, let's check under games. So under games, we have a few different board games: K Mahjong, K Reversi, a few different puzzle games: K Mines, K Sudoku. Um, I have never been a big fan of this game in general. They have the Microsoft version and obviously this version. I don't think I've ever run that game. Um, and what else do we have? So that's pretty much the puzzle games, K-Mines and K-Sudoku. We have Patience, which is a card game. And the graphics, this is always pretty predictable. Of course, we have GIMP, which is probably the best imaging application on Linux. We have LibreOffice Draw, and we have um, these other applications. I'm not sure what they are, to be honest. Uh, we have a few different photography applications. Um, I've heard of Digicam and Show Photo. I've personally never used these applications. We have a few different scanning applications, Acquire Images and Scan Light. Uh, another link to LibreOffice Draw, and we have GwenView, which is basically just the image viewer. On the internet, we have a couple of chat um, applications. We have Conversation with a K, Copet, Instant Messenger, and Chococ, microblogging client. Under email, we basically just have Kmail, web browsers. We have Firefox, and we have Conqueror. I quite like Conqueror. It's basically a web browser and a file manager in one. It's a pretty powerful application. Uh, we have KTorrent, which is the you know default uh, BitTorrent client. We have Aggregator, which is an RSS feed reader. Under multimedia, we have Amarok, which I believe is probably already running. You know, Amarok's probably one of the main ones. Amarok and Banshee are the big two, really. Uh, yeah, so this is basically what it looks like. You know, you can um, access all of your local music, obviously, as well as music from online sources. You can have playlists, podcasts. I quite like the app. It's pretty powerful. I, however, think that it looks a little bit ugly out of the box, to be honest. That's just telling me that it's going to hide in the system tray there. Now, um, we basically have KSCD, which is just a CD player. You can do the same in Am Amarok. We have K3B, which is a CD, DVD, disc burning application. We have uh, basically a K-Mix, which is the volume control, and we have Caffeine. Um, I quite like Caffeine. Um, if you um, have a TV card in your computer, Caffeine is probably one of the best applications um, to use for digital TV on Linux. Um, so I believe that was all the multimedia, wasn't it? Now, if we take a look under Office, we basically have LibreOffice Space, LibreOffice Draw, we have an, a general link to LibreOffice in general, LibreOffice Impress, Calc, and Writer. So that is basically the three versions of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And we also have Contact, which um, these other applications such as Personal Organizer, and Contact Manager are a part of. Um, I quite like Contact, which I will quickly show you. So you basically have this summary which shows your upcoming events, pending to-dos, um, upcoming special dates, new messages, and pop-up notes. You have K-Mail here, which is where you can access all of your emails. You know, they appear here, you read them underneath. You know, you have all of your contacts, you have your calendar, your to-do list, your RSS feeds, your journal, pop-up notes. Um, it's a very comprehensive, um, you know, application, you know, good for all of your business needs and purposes. I'm not going to bore you and go into too much detail with everything under system and utilities. Um, you know, I won't bore you and go into all of that. Um, now let's take a look at computer. Under administration, we have a link to Yast, which is basically the main control panel in OpenSUSE. Um, 
the yeah, well, once again, I won't go into that. Um, Yast is actually pretty powerful. It's got quite a few um, powerful hidden functions, which I might do a video on in the future. We have a link to Adam Remove Software, K Info Center, which just basically provides you with some information about your system. Um, we have an option to run a command, and we have places. We basically have your home directory, um, network, we have the root directory, the trash can. Recently used or recently opened applications and documents, and under leave, we have our session options to log out, to lock, um, you know, to lock the screen, to switch users, and our system options to hibernate the system, to restart it, and to shut it down. So yeah, that's pretty much it really. Um, I basically just wanted to give you a general feel of what it looks like. Um, if you want to check it out, then I highly recommend that you download and install Oracle's VirtualBox. Then you can obviously download the DVD image or a CD image and check it out. Um, and if you like it enough, you can install it as your primary operating system. This is by far my favorite Linux distribution. I quite like the KDE variant of OpenSUSE. Um, if, um, there, if I could live without Windows, I would use this permanently. Unfortunately, there are some applications on Windows I can't do without at the moment. Um, so yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything in this video at a very basic first impressions level. Uh, let's take a look at um, some of the included uh, wallpapers. Um, I believe this wallpaper is new in 12.3, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm pretty sure in 12.2 they had a green wallpaper by default. You know, they change them every now and again. Um, we have a few different wallpapers here. To be honest, I can't remember which ones are new and which ones were, you know, in 12.2, etc. Some of these wallpapers look pretty good. We have stripes. Stripes looks nice. Not that it's a big deal. You can obviously download and use whatever you want. Though I quite like the look of that. Fields of Peace. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, really. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you like OpenSUSE 12.3? And if not, um, what is your um, Linux distribution of choice? Um, please like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. Feel free to leave suggestions in the comment section below if you would like me to take a look at um, a certain Linux distribution in particular. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video and thanks for watching.